Hey, how's it going, guys? Black Cat Hobbies here. I know, a little bit different today, and I am sorry that this video is getting out a bit later than I wanted to. I wasn't able to pick up what I'm going to be talking about today, the day it came out, due to work scheduling issues. So I got it the day after, and just some things came up the last couple of days. Finally having a chance to get this started, and it'll probably be the day after I start recording this when I actually get it out. That being said... I know it wasn't the easiest to get a hold of here in America, from what I hear. The AOS ones do tend to sell out fast, but I got my hands on a copy of Aether War. I was going to have it on my table already for an unboxing. And, well, to be honest, yeah. Just because of the table I'm stuck using at the moment, and just the way things are set up, because of some other projects and commission work I've got going on, couldn't even see all of the first word of it so i'm just like you know what i'll just have it off to the side and start pulling things out but because of the scarcity of aos two-player boxes here in the u.s luckily one of my local stores tends to take pre-orders i was able to get a hold of one through a pre-order on that so let's get into this thing i've already got the box open so we don't have to waste time pulling plastic wrap off of the main box, things like that. So right here is the focus. Let me uh, hit a light just to be safe. Sorry for that. Give it a moment. All right. We get this thing into focus. This is the Magister. As you can see here, we have this really interestingly detailed disc of Zinch. The magical trail that comes off the bottom along with its attachment point over here. That part is going to be really cool. The staff, sword, different parts of the bottom, or bodies, not bottom. Along with the chicken leg right down in here. That's going to be really cool. I will assemble this and show it to you later in the video. I may leave it in sub-assemblies. This is definitely going to be one of those kits where painting it... Whether I decide to airbrush or not is going to be a lot easier to have maybe this part with this separate from this disc and then the figure himself not actually attached to the disc yet just to get at all the intricate detail. But I haven't decided on that yet. So it'll either be fully assembled or you will see it in like three parts. But I'm going to set that off to the side. That is the Magister. He is one of the new characters in this box. We get the other one out of the way just because those are the two top things in this box. Here we have the Indren Master. This crazy dwarf with his, that looks to be his chest. Part of his crazy backpack apparatus. His thing that keeps him aloof. The prop. Stabilizers. Legs. All his crazy weapons. This thing's going to be a lot of fun. This again is something, I may leave this one in subsections too, for a different reason. This guy, when I pull out the um, instructions, I'll show you. Yeah, it's the pad of it. His feet are separate. Not even like the full foot, just like the pad of the foot. But um, yeah, so these little arms here, like that, that, that little one down there. Uh those two and there should be another one on here somewhere six little arms that all come out of these connection points for painting purposes that is really going to get in the way so yeah those parts may get left separate for the sake of painting and then i will get back into it later um yeah, I'll decide on that part later. Admittedly, where his base goes is not the best, but that's a different story, because... Yeah, I believe that's uh, part there is part of where the base plugs into. But we'll get into that later when uh, we talk about how this is actually assembled. So those are the two new. I'm definitely going to get those assembled to show you guys later. The rest of it, it's all kits that have been uh, released for a while, so I'm not sure that I'm going to take time and get those assembled before I get back to you guys. They will be up on shelves behind me later. 
that is something to come, but uh, as much as I hate to admit it, still working on getting this darn office slash recording slash hobby area set up and properly clean so that I can have cams the way that I want them. Not to mention I am now looking into a better cam for like the, um, when doing the pack openings, but I'm just not liking the way that this cam sometimes keeps up and the Brio looks nice, but it's not cheap. That being said, we have here the Screamers, I believe it is. It's been a while since I looked at my Zines kits. So, it is a three-pack. This is how it would come in its normal box. This has been out, by the looks of it, since 2011, if you're looking up here in the corner. Should be an easy kit to build. I've got another box somewhere. I do need to get them built up. I'm just debating how I want to paint these. Like, there is standard schemes with, like, a... Yeah, sorry, I just grabbed a pen vice. Like a blue in the center that fades into other colors, which could look really cool, but we now have all those... I gotta think how to phrase it, because... Green Stuff World has a specific term copywritten, and I don't want to accidentally use their term since it's so normal to think of it in that term, because that gets the video taken down, and a copyright strike. But, yeah, there are paints that will change the color depending on how the light hits them, and given that Zinc stuff is always talking about how their colors are constantly changing and things like that, it'd be a really cool thing to do with these. But they tend to have a metallic look, so I, just, I haven't decided yet. But we do have this kit. Let me set that off to the side and grab, if I can get a hold of it, a Caradron Overlord kit. So here's another one of the kits with the Caradron Overlords. I know it doesn't fit in the frame the best. I apologize for that. So the way this one comes up is this box does come with six of these guys. They can be built three different ways. I will probably have three of each. We have their... I don't know, I guess I'm going to call it a ballast tank at the moment. But the things that keep them up in the air. Down there. Main bodies, your hooks. Those, if I remember correctly, are mines. I don't have the book yet. I do need to get a hold of it. Your different dwarf bodies. All your different weapons. Just a pretty crazy kit. I haven't decided how I'm going to build them yet. These cool faces over here. But yeah, so, you got that. I'm going to grab the other one real fast, but... Yeah, as I thought, this is the same sprue, so you're basically getting two of the same, because the kit that it comes with can make two different variants, and they're normally a three-pack box, so getting six, you're getting two of the same. <coughs> definitely some interesting parts on here though and sorry if I sound a little funny around here where I'm at the weather is bouncing between like middle of winter and stupid cold and like mid spring in the upper 40s low 50s it's really messing with like myself my wife just a lot of people and so because of that I'm just having like some congestion and stuff we got a flying stand that's for the uh, gun hauler I'm about to pull out. Because this thing is just cool. I do have another one of these I need to build. Downside is a lot of this stuff will probably need to be in sub-assemblies just for painting purposes. So we have hull of the ship. Big balloon. Big balloon. Smaller balloons here. The stuff that attaches all of it to missiles, faceplate, <coughs> sorry, rudders, trying to not hit the maliceptor I've been working on for a fellow content creator, the uh, deck of the ship, dwarf, yeah, lots of rudders, propellers, 
and Anchor. Just some crazy looking stuff. I am looking forward to building this. But I mean, the crew and the hull should probably be left separate from the uh, ballast tanks or whatever you want to call them. Again, I need to read the book, but I got to get the book first. But that's a really cool looking kit. I'm looking forward to building it. I do want to at some point build a full, like, sky armada of them. Between the gun haulers, the frigates, and then the, uh... I think the frigate's the middle, and then they got the big one, but the big one's like 150 for the thing. I'm, it's going to be a little while on that one. Then we have the really delicate stuff. Our Zinch Arcanites. Main troops. So you got... Three discs here with different stuff. That's going to be really interesting. Just all the crazy attachment points. These, uh... If they can... Let me deal with something. Something weird popped up. Alright, got that out of the way. Just these crazy bows over here. Just really thin, really delicate. Going to have to be careful on those. Has crazy armored belts and legs and such here. <coughs> Given what I'm seeing for some of the commission work I'm working on right now, um, yeah, I'm glad I'm doing these on my own and assembling them because I just got a batch in that's going to take quite a bit of work to clean up. And those are bulkier models that should have been easier to assemble in the first place. But, so you got this sprue, and a second sprue of it. Again, it's another one of those dual kits that gives you two of them. Or two options, so you get six to build three and three. Hopefully, and I'll find out here in a moment. Of course, we get the poster. This does look really cool, but my copy is a bit beat up, so I'm not sure if I'm going to... Like, they include this to, um... Well, it's actually in the box this way, to keep your sprues from damaging the other components. But you do get cool cover art from the box on the other side, but you end up with, like, these little divots here and a little bit scratched up, so... This may end up on my wall behind me. It may not. I haven't decided yet. Because some of them are really cool. And I usually like the artwork on most of these. But some of them... I might like the artwork. And I think it's Blight War. Or one of my others. Actually has some holes in it from the sprues. So I... Yeah, I'm still debating what I'm going to do with some of these. We got... Sprues. More sprues. Sprue for the boat. Flying stands that... Yeah, I'm wishing we'd go back to the other version. These... If I can get the light to stop being difficult. These just are not that great. Old school flying base. If they'll get detached. Old school flying stands. I wish we'd have something more like this again. Like. The curve on these is cool. But I want the ball joint connector that we had with these. Kind of like what we get with the uh, boat. The boat is a nice idea for the stand. Because. These. Give us nice motion with the curve and a good attachment point. But the models do not like to stay on unless you hold the thing for ages to make sure everything's set properly. So they're just... It's a nice idea. Needs some work and execution. I'm going to throw all that stuff back in. So we've actually got the most important... Well... I don't know, models are probably the most important part, but the other important part in this box... Let's see how they've got these in here. 
Okay, I am not liking my light, but it's dark outside, and I only have one main light in this room until I get a better lighting setup, so I have to have my desk lamp on. Otherwise, a lot of stuff's going to be in shadow. I do have a possibility on working towards some other lighting. I'm hoping that goes well, but again, I got to get the rest of this room set up to get that. And I gotta see that that's even still a thing. So, I'll find that out here in a bit. That's disappointing. So usually, those are all banded together, and my bands came broke in the packaging. That is disappointing. I'll get to that in a moment. Because we have... I'll set these off to the side. They're maybe a tad beat up, but oh well. Our hidden agendas for the zinc stuff. Apparently there's also some for the dwarves, but this goes in with the campaign that comes in the book included in this. We have our data cards. Here's your Indran Master. This should be yep, a nice fold out. If you guys want to know a little better on what these say, let me know, and I will put it down in the comments section. Indrin Riggers. The Gun Hauler. Huh. I expected the other one in here, too. Unless these are just out of order. Which, again, because of the way it showed up, could be. So, the Magister. Yeah, they're just out of order. The Magister is the nice fold out again. Sky Wardens being the other thing that goes with the KO. Our Zangor Enlightened. This the Zangor Skyfires. Leave that as the Screamers. So we have our data cards for the units included in the box. That's going to help me on building these and means that my other KO collection, I can basically build everything but one unit in there for now. That'll be nice. Set the hidden agendas off to the side. I will probably sleeve those up. That's just me being from a card gaming background as well. I like my cards sleeved just to help them stay protected. We got our core rules. Man, that light. Okay, yeah. Core rules. Uh, looks like I'm not going to get a good thing on that with the lighting. I do really need that. So, I never got the second edition set. I wanted it. I didn't have the money at the time. And the more I looked at the units, seeing that the second edition one wasn't coming with a lot of full units and there wasn't a good way to bulk them up to the full unit size, uh, I kind of just held off on that. I might still get it down the road. I do like the models in it, but got our tokens. Always nice. I really do like that these uh, two-player boxes come with game aids. That's why I'm more and more likely to pick these up if I get the option. Just a lot of these game aids seem to come in handy, and until I find some nice acrylic third-party ones, I'm sure they're made. I just haven't been on my usual sites lately. To look about those and since I'm going to a con here in March my main uh, distributors that I look into for those tend to be at that con so I might just hold off and buy them there if they have them I'll save that for a moment we do have our Aether War book gives you a little bit of I know the shots gonna be terrible Background of what's going on with the Spiral Crux, Cults of the Eyrie, Airy. Yeah, some stuff that goes on. Talking about the War in the Skies. Now that the Necroquake has happened, everything's just gone insane. A little bit of stuff about the Caradron Overlords and the different units that you get in the box. Same with the Disciples of Zinch and some cool artwork. Pictures of fully painted figures. 
if I can get that in shot there. That's the other version of what those make. The screamer's up in the corner. Some KO stuff, and I am probably painting something similar to this scheme. The more I looked at it, the more I was like, you know what? It's very similar to what they're claiming my uh, faction of Stormcast Eternals paint scheme is. And so, while that's a little different, I'm basically going to just copy them over and use it as the same. And then we get the different battle plan, so Maelstrom of Metal. Uh, leading to battle plan one, we've got company. Battle plan two, worth a little risk. Different set setup there, should be interesting. Three, of Aether Golden Anarchy. Which looks to be a, you start on one side and your opponent starts in the center. That'll be interesting. Our war scrolls for the whole one side and then the other. The unit info for each of the figures. Assuming you don't just go off of the cards that were printed. And then I had heard about one thing. We're getting there. Here's some of the zinc stuff. Something that hasn't been done until recently is we are actually getting pitched battle profiles with the points cost. Like, it's always been that we could take the War Scroll Battalions that were included, but they hadn't been giving us points cost outside of the General's Handbook. It actually came included in our book this time. That's a pretty nice feature. <coughs> of course, we've got our instructions. One thing that's really nice is they are showing us the base size that goes with the models this time. They didn't do that for a while. It's a really nice change of pace. Makes it a lot easier when you have a box where everything is on different bases. I wish the Necromunda Hub box had done that. That is another one I'm still working on. I actually had to get new glue. And now I need to go through and fix that up. And I've just had some commission work kind of getting in there. And now that I'm looking at it, something that I'm working on for another uh, YouTuber, I have some mold lines I need to scrape off of that. Um, just so you guys know, what I'm working on is a Maliceptor. Working on this for a fellow YouTuber. Hoping to get together with them when I go to the con. They tend to go. I've met up with them the last... I know last year and possibly the year before, I don't quite remember. That's been a little while. But this year, I wanted to bring them a gift. If they don't make it for some reason, I'll just send it to them. But to help out their uh, Tyranid collection, I just it's something I wanted to work on. But So we have the instructions for the Indran Master. Nice, clear. You can see the computer slices with it. But it does make them very easy to follow. with the different color to show you the different options and how different things line up. And it does look as if the rudder, okay, the rudder on the gun hauler is actually posable. That'll be really nice. The different options for that, I'm gonna have to figure out what I want. And all this insanity that gets rigged up part of why, like I said, this will probably be done in subsections, like that whole balloon-esque thing is going to get in the way of painting other things, so that's going to have to be left off. Just some of the other craziness. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun, but uh, it's also going to be crazy. It's also why that... Uh, I'm probably just going to focus on getting the two brand new characters, because right now this box is the only way to get these two characters. So, I'm going to focus on getting those two built up, and I'll get back to you with how those turned out. As some people put it, any of the sort of gotchas, I've already heard that there can be a little bit of gapping on the Magister's Cloak. I guess I'm going to find that out tonight, slash tomorrow after work, possibly, if I don't get it done tonight. And, yeah, so, I'm going to take a little bit of time, 
cut the video, go get these built up, and I will see you when they're done. They probably won't be primed yet, but eh, yeah, I still gotta get my airbrush booth set up properly again. It, it hasn't been used in a while, just due to scheduling issues, so yeah, once all that's good, I'll get back to you with these, and yeah, I'll see you when they're done. Alright, I'm back, and again, I feel I need to apologize. This video definitely took longer to get out than I had anticipated. I do have the two main figs I had planned to build, build, or built. Unfortunately, between work and a few other things, you know, life just kind of got in the way, so this is taking longer. I'm not to the point where I can have these videos be my whole job yet. I would love to get to that point, but just not there yet. So, they're not on bases yet, there is a reason for that. Here we have the Magister. It's a beautiful kit. This energy sweep here. It's just wonderful. There's a flat section here that's just going to glue onto the base. So it'll be standing kind of like so. And I'm uh, probably not the best image because of the blur, but... Alright, just a beautiful model. I do have a little bit of a mold line I'm going to need to clean up there just from where the join is. This kit, something like a Tamiya Extra Thin plastic glue is going to be your best friend. Without it, you do run the risk of having a nice gap right down here in the cloth. Come on, focus. Ah, this light's not helping much, sorry. That might help. And might have just made things worse. Sorry about that. I really do need to get some proper overhead lights. Alright, if I can get it to focus again. Come on. Focus. Mm, that's not ideal. But yeah, right down here you'll have a seam from where the parts of the robe join together. The extra thin cement will definitely be your friend there. But all in all, not too difficult to build. It's got an unusual face, beautiful weapon. Really looking forward to painting this. I did kind of give in. I would highly recommend leaving this in sub-assemblies. Maybe the character off of the disc and the energy swirl off as well. It's going to make that painting that so much easier. But for the sake of the video, I wanted to show you guys the whole thing assembled. So... I'm just going to have to deal with that. But that's on me. Let me uh, actually move this up a little bit and see if we can get a little better focus. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. That's a little farther up than I meant. Yeah. Really interesting face. Beautifully detailed figure. It is a hero. Leader. Whatever you want to call it. We'll see how that goes. But we also have... Our other guy. This was definitely an odd build. He is interesting though. If I weren't doing this for a video, I probably would have not fully assembled him yet. Like, the main body is just fine. The arms do kind of get in the way for the painting. I probably would have left those off. His, uh... Buoyancy device for the engine master here. It's a wonderful little piece. Just plus, Everything just sockets in nicely. He's got his little... Propulsion device off the butt there. That's actually where your stand is going to slot into. We'll see how well that goes. The one part that's not ideal, and what makes painting it the worst, is the three arms here and the three arms here. I really considered leaving this off, but at the same time, yeah, I wanted you guys to see how this would look fully assembled. And yeah, that's going to make painting rough. So on your own, you got plastic cement, or plastic putty, not putty, plastic glue. Still going to be your best friend. Most of this really wasn't a big deal to assemble. I would recommend leaving the arms and then the little servo harness things off though. Because, yeah, that's going to make painting difficult. Um, but we'll see how that goes. 
I'll try to get this into focus just a little more again. I would have filmed this portion the previous day, but one thing you will notice is on this glue, uh, yeah, the well ventilated area. Uh, okay. At one point, I read something about like you'll get a good bond pretty quickly, but if you want it to be properly set, you should give it a full 24 hours or so. So I wanted to give it some time to finish setting. Man, that light is irritating. Come on. Come on. Let's see if I can kind of block some of the light. That is just not being ideal. Again, I am looking into getting a better camera. There we go. That will hopefully allow for better focus. But yeah, so that's what this guy looks like. He'll look a lot better on a stand and paint it up. Just, it's a very busy figure. Probably not the most ideal. But those are the two brand new figures for Aether War. At some point, you guys will see a full display of this stuff when they get painted up. But that's going to take me a little while. Let me get both of those back into the shot. Yeah, so I'm going to... Get these all primed, painted up, all that fun stuff. At some point, I will make sure I do some army showcases to show you guys where the different armies are looking. That being said, I've got another video or two I need to film today because of some stuff that came up. And I've got a lot of commission work to work on. So, sadly, commission work does have to come first. At least as far as getting my own stuff painted. Other videos, on the other hand, well, that's for the channel. That's still right up there kind of at the same tier as the commission works. So, I hope you all enjoyed what you saw. I do intend to keep improving these videos. It's just still something new, but... Something I definitely want to do. We're just a little limited by funds at the moment. So, we'll see how that goes. Thanks for joining me. I have been Black Cat Hobbies. Feel free to leave comments in the comment section. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video.